So far in class, we've talked about the CNS and the PNS as the major branches of the nervous system. What we're going to get in today is talking about a sub-branch of the peripheral nervous system, which is known as the autonomic nervous system. One of the things that you should know about this particular system is that it controls unconscious involuntary activities. So these are things that are going on in your body at all times that you don't have to think about, that you don't have to plan for. They're just kind of happening without any conscious input from you. Some examples of things that would be controlled by the autonomic nervous system would be the contraction of the heart. So that's something that happens at all times, whether we're awake, whether we're sleeping, we don't have to think about it. The rate of the heart changes in tune with the needs of the body, and this is regulated by the autonomic nervous system. The contraction of smooth muscles as well. So you find smooth muscles, for example, in the digestive system, and those smooth muscles are going to help to propel food through the digestive system, and that's certainly something that you don't have to think about. Oh, I just ate, I've got food in my digestive system, I need to push that through. That's not something you think about, it's something that's just happening by the body on its own through that smooth muscle contraction. Secretion of glands throughout the body is another thing that's regulated by the autonomic service, nervous system. So if you think about sweating, and the sweat that's produced by sweat glands or saliva that's produced, maybe when you think about a food that you like or digestive enzymes that are produced in the digestive tract that help you to break down the foods that you eat, these are all things that happen on their own without you having to consciously think about them or plan for them. So they are a part of the roles of the autonomic nervous system. Heart rate and blood pressure, so again, things that we don't have to think about. Breathing rate, which just kind of changes in tune with the needs of the body, so increases if we're exercising or we're stressed, decreases if we're resting or peaceful. These are things that are regulated by the autonomic nervous system as well. If you look at the graph that I have here, you'll notice that the autonomic nervous system, or the ANS, has two sub-branches to it. So the first of these is what's known as the sympathetic division, and the second is what's known as the parasympathetic division. And we'll use our second slide in today's lecture to talk about those sub-branches. So the sympathetic division is sometimes also referred to as the fight or flight division. And the reason for this is this particular branch is dominant under stressful or emergency conditions in the body. And what it does is it prepares the body to fight or to flee from the situation. So that's why we sometimes refer to it as the fight or flight system. This particular branch is going to cause changes to body functions that's going to rev up your body's ability to perform physically. So you're gonna see an increase in heart rate and an increase in blood pressure. This is to push oxygen containing blood to the tissues, to the organs, and especially to the skeletal muscles so that they're getting optimally what they need for a fight situation if they're needed or to be able to flee a situation if they're needed in that particular case. The sympathetic division, because it's using so much of the body's resources towards the skeletal muscles, towards the cardiovascular system, towards the respiratory system, tends to shut down digestion. Because if you're in an emergency situation or you're in a stressful situation, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to be using a lot of the body's energy working to digest your foods. Instead, we need, need to use that energy and use those resources towards the cardiovascular system, the musculoskeletal system, those types of things that are going to allow us to be able to fight off or flee from some emergency or stressful situation. For that reason, because you're seeing the digestive system shut down under a sympathetic division activation, um, you'll see things happening like getting a dry mouth. And one of the reasons for this is the salivary glands are part of the digestive system. And remember that digestion's not considered to be needed, at least not as much as cardiovascular activation and activation of skeletal muscles under an emergency or stressful situation. So if you hate speaking publicly, um, a lot of people will get a dry mouth right before that because that to them is an emergency situation, a stressful situation to their bodies, and that makes it even more difficult 
because one of the roles of saliva, in addition to helping to break down our food, is to lubricate the mouth and make it so that you can speak clearly and your tongue isn't getting stuck in different parts of your mouth and making you become tongue-tied. I had a nutrition teacher once who told me you shouldn't even eat with people you don't like because if you're having a meal with somebody that you don't like, that's enough of a stressful situation that it inhibits digestion to some extent and that makes it less likely that you're going to be able to break down the foods that you're having with that meal properly and more likely that you're going to end up with indigestion. So the big idea with the sympathetic division is it's going to shut digestion, shut down all processes that are related to digestion and it's instead going to use the body's resources towards making it more able to fight or flee from the situation that's causing stress. The other division of the autonomic nervous system is what's known as the parasympathetic division. So it is dominant under resting, peaceful conditions when you're not stressed. And because of that, it's sometimes also known as the resting and digesting system. If you aren't stressed, if there's not an immediate threat in your life, then the best thing that the body can do to nourish the body is focus its energy on digestion and breaking down properly the foods that you're eating and getting as much nourishment and nutrition from those foods as possible. So under stressful, or I'm sorry, under resting peaceful conditions, we're going to see this particular system becoming active. It is going to inhibit the cardiovascular system to some extent. So we're going to see blood pressure decreasing. We're going to see heart rate decreasing as well breathing rate's going to decrease because we don't need, under these peaceful resting conditions, such a high flow of oxygen and nutrient-rich blood to the tissues and the muscles and the organs of the body. Instead, we're going to see all of those processes that are involved in digestion being ramped up when this particular system is more dominant, which again is under resting peaceful calm conditions. So that's the autonomic nervous system, or at least a very brief introduction to what it actually does and its two branches. In the activity that you do with this particular folder, you'll have an opportunity to become a little bit more familiar with it.